My name is Mike Glenny. I work for Phoenix Fire Department. Been there since 1987. May 28th, uh, 2010, I was walking home from my regular shift at work. It's a 24-hour shift. It started at 8 o'clock the previous morning and ended at 8 o'clock the morning I was walking home. Um, about three quarters of a mile away from the station, um, I had a massive heart attack and I fell down in the street. Uh, when he collapsed, uh, this good Samaritan happened to be driving by in her car. She pulled the car over, jumps out and runs over and begins CPR on Michael. Um, she had just, interestingly enough, recertified for CPR about a week before this. And uh, she also called 911 and uh, the paramedics from his own fire department came to his rescue. Right after that, the ALS unit, uh, which comes from a different station, and the rescue got there. They started the ALS protocol and continued CPR. I was shocked uh, once by the AED from the BLS unit, the ladder truck, and uh, two times after that by the ALS people. Um, they stabilized me and took me up to the hospital where my wife and family, friends, and a pile of firefighters were there. The day initially started with a phone call from a hospitalist from another facility who excitedly was telling me that uh, they had a fireman that had arrested on the street and was down. And uh, he had been shocked three times and had gone to the cath lab at that facility and they'd identified a widowmaker lesion. Uh, and the guy was having an acute myocardial infarction and they were afraid that he was going to die and they needed him out of that facility right away. Uh, from there, the treatment uh, was fast and furious. They uh, stabilized me to a point that I had my own respiration and own heartbeat and took me uh, into the cath lab where they found quite a few blockages. And so we elected to put him on what we call the cooling protocol, which is to insert a catheter through the groin and cool his core body temperature down uh, to a very low temperature and then we put uh, this left ventricular assist device uh, that let his heart sort of rest for a period of time. And so between the cooling and the assist device, we let Michael's heart and body and brain relax for about 48 hours. And this gave everything a little bit of time to heal. And then at the end of 48 hours, we woke him up, we pulled the cooling catheter out and took him to the operating room and did a five vessel bypass on him. Uh, I went into the hospital at 10% ejection fraction. After a pump was installed, uh, I believe it was 30%. And after a few days of rest and the surgery, before I was uh, discharged, it was 70%, 60 to 70%. After the surgery, he woke up fully, was completely neurologically intact. His heart muscle returned to full function. Uh, and, he, and he was out of the hospital in about uh, 10 days after that, after that procedure. Well, Dr. Kasky's a, a rare individual. Um, my wife first told me about him before he came in to see me after I came to from recovery. Um, she informed me of how genuine he was and how he wasn't afraid to reach out and treat her like a, an individual, not a patient's wife. And he was very concerned about her and that she understood everything in her terms. Uh, the minute Michael hit the door here, uh, it was like walking through a gauntlet. There were firemen, uh, there were family members up and down the hallway, wherever you took Michael. Um, there was never just his wife making the decision for him. There were a multitude of support services with him. There were lots of firemen and lots of family and parents. Um, and they were all incredibly supportive. Anything that they could do to help, they, they wanted to just be part of. When people ask me about the event, I tell them I, I, I personally know God and I know a great heart surgeon. Well, I just wanted to say to Michael that uh, it, it was a great experience taking care of you. Uh, you've, been, you've an incredible family and an incredible support system. Uh, it was very, very pleasurable and I'm happy that you're going back to work as a full-fledged fireman. I need you on the line. I don't live too far from your fire station, so I need you to be there for me. Uh, I'd like to give a special note of thanks to Dr. Kasky, everything you did for me and all the technology you uh, have at your fingertips had nothing compared to what you did for me and my family. The personal nature in which you took care of us, uh, words cannot express everything that you did for me, so I really appreciate it.